Hmm. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Throw it all clear. Hello, YouTuber. How are you? I'm doing outstanding. I'm actually a, a little creeped out by one person. I'm not going to say the person's screen name or anything, but they know who they are. They kind of creep me out, the whole Harry Potter thing. I mean, I know there's fans of all kinds of things, but wow. I mean, at first it was kind of hilarious. I mean, I was just posting, like, dude, I'm not laughing with you. I'm kind of laughing at you. Man. You're, you're just kind of sad. And he said he's watching, he's watching my videos, or she's watching my videos. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but such a person. It's very, very awkward. I have no idea. And uh, it got me thinking, this person's been the inspiration for my video of, um, I mean, I know we can all be a little fanatic about things. My sister's very big fanatic, a Red Sox fan. She actually um, wrote a bunch of different jokes or a bunch of different um, facts about the Red Sox. Like it was 86 years the Red Sox or whatever went without winning a World Series. And uh, in 86, it's when they... Uh, the biggest embarrassment, apparently, um, uh, Bill Buckner messed up and let the ball, ball go between his legs. And it's a huge thing. Like I said, everyone has their own little fanatical things. I love anime. Now, for me, I don't dress up like an anime character. I don't go to anime conventions. I don't own all things anime, uh, socks anime, um, anything like that. But am I going to mock somebody because he dresses like Inuyasha or Bash the Stampede? Or uh, Goku, or Vegeta, or Piccolo. No. Do whatever the hell makes you happy. Do what you like. I mean, I love animes. There's so many. And yes, I always do videos where things float around me. I don't add them on. Look, they're all floating. There, 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 everywhere. Actually, I'm going to add them on later. So it's going to make sense when I do this because there's going to be little floating things like little bubbles like Dragon Ball Z, Inuyasha, and everything all floating around. I mean, it probably won't be on time though because I'm still learning the timing of my videos, but I'll add them on. And that's my obsession. I mean, I don't get as obsessed as other people, but I'm not going to judge it for that. I mean, I know this one dude, uh, I watched uh, recently a oh, Ray William Johnson who was doing a Kamehameha and his roommate tackled him in the debate with her, and I think I was naked, which I just think was a funny-ass video. Come on. I don't care what other people think. The dude's doing a Kamehameha in front of his, uh, his camera, downloads it on YouTube. Go for it. The guy wants to do a Kamehameha on a public highway and gets hit by a car. Then we got some issues. Because <laughs> you shouldn't just be standing on a public highway, but you get the idea. It's the time and the place. Not to go overboard, but as long as it's when the realms of safety and no one's going to get hurt, shit, stand on top of a roof and go, Come here, come here, come here, and you're dead. I shot you with an energy blast from my hand. And go crazy. Go my sugar nuts. Go nuts. Go pecans. Go almonds. Go cashews. Yeah, I know that was dumb to you, but I think it was funny. And the only person I have to please is me. And the two-headed midget behind me. I burn him from your video. I hope you guys don't mind your favorite Martian. Or my favorite Martian. Anywho. I'm going to go drink some Orphan Tears. And then say hello to my next door neighbor, which is Mr. Douchebag. Right before I stalk your mom. And then do her. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>